Today I'm going to show you how to use for loops. I'm going to go into the Python environment, type in Python, and what I'm going to use, I'm going to create a loop, uh, and we're going to also use from my previous tutorial, I showed you how to use the range command, which is a built-in function in Python as well. So we're going to say for, and then we're going to create a variable, I'll say x, uh, and in. So for, create a variable, x, and that's x in this, which is range, and we'll say 1, comma, 11. Close the parentheses there, and we're going to do a colon, which signifies this is the beginning of the loop here. Hit enter, and now remember, Python is very particular about indenting, so to show that this is part of the loop, we have to indent, so I'm going to hit tab to move over, and what I'm going to do is I'm going to print x is now, and I'll just put comma, and I'll say x. And if I hit enter, we're st still thinking we're in the loop. I'm going to hit enter again. Since I'm not indented, it knows it's the end of the loop. Boom. And it says x is now 1, x is now 2, x is now 3. And because we're going from a range, I'll show you. If we just hit range like so, range, our start is 1. Our end is 11, which actually stops us at 10 because it's going to 11, not past 11. And it gives us those numbers. We're saying 4x in, so each one of these it does a loop for. So it does a loop for 1, a loop for 2, a loop for 3, a loop for 4, all the way through to 10. And each time it loops, it's printing out this message. Print x is now, and then whatever x equals. It knows that this x is a variable when this one is not because this one is not in quotations. So that is a very quick look at for loops. I hope you found this useful. And uh, you can have more than one line in the for loops. So I'm going to say for print. If I want another one, I just have to indent on here. And I'll say print. And I'll just do a little divider like so. There we go. And I so this is the second line of our loop. And it's printing out a little divider there. Quick look at for loops in Python. I hope you're enjoying my Python tutorials. Visit filmsbychris.com for more video tutorials like this one. Have a great day.